Hi everyone, it's Heidi here from The Nest Kid CPR and Allergy. In today's video, we're going to talk about bee stings, wasp stings and tick bites. Um, so first aid for these kind of things um, can vary slightly. So we'll just go through um, each individual one and I'll, we'll give you some tips of how to recognise um, a reaction to them as well. So although obviously a tick bite or um, a bee sting or a wasp sting can be very, very painful, they're often they don't often cause any really serious problems. Um, there is obviously such a thing as, a, you know, anaphylaxis, um, a, an allergic reaction to bites and stings, but they are quite rare. Um, obviously it happens, but they are quite rare. So um, it's it, it, what that is, is an allergy to the venom that they inject um, or the, the bite that, the, that you sustain from the tick. So... It can cause widespread pain, um, you know, around the area of the skin, it can become quite red and quite painful. Um, but normally that's kind of the, the extent of it. It normally doesn't um, end up being much more of a reaction than that. So stings around the face can cause serious um, envenomation and difficulty breathing, um, even though a person may not be, you know, may not have been allergic before. Um, you can all of a sudden, even as an adult, just have an allergic reaction to something like this. Um, so remember bees, um, when bees sting, they attach, um, they usually leave their sting in place and there's a little sack of venom, which it, they, they'll continue to inject from that sack of venom. So you have to be really careful. Um, uh, and it continues to eject into the skin. Whereas um, wasps and ants and things like that can continuously um, uh, like inject, they can continuously sting you. So more, more than once. Um, ticks can inject toxins. So I have to be careful with ticks. And although you may not feel a tick actually like latching on um, and you may not see it or know it's there until you can actually, you know, see it and they, they look really big and bulbous, they've been sucking your blood all night long. Um, but they can inject a toxin that can cause irritants of the skin. That may be how you figure out that you even have one there. So they can cause an allergic reaction. They can cause anaphylaxis, as can any of these. Um, and that can be life threatening. It doesn't just have to be a food. Um, and also, like we said before, there doesn't need to have been any previous exposure to these kind of things. So we have to remember that with anaphylaxis, um, with food, obviously there's certain symptoms. Um, you've got your wheeze, you know, tightness in your throat, the change in the voice, uh, persistent cough, you know, all these symptoms um, that, you know, a dizziness, um, which is the blood pressure dropping. Uh, but one of the symptoms for food allergy, um, one of the mild to moderate symptoms is abdominal pain and vomiting. Whereas with a sting or a bite from an insect, abdominal pain and vomiting is actually a sign of anaphylaxis. So if you think about it, when you're eating a food, you could see how obviously that food goes into your digestive system, sits in your stomach and actually, you know, you could see how you end up vomiting um, or feeling like you have abdominal pain um, just from eating that food. Now, that's not a specifically severe symptom in food allergy, but when you've been bitten or stung, nothing's actually gone into your stomach. So just think about that way that those symptoms are then that's more of a serious, more of a red flag. Um, with bites and stings so we would if you had an EpiPen and someone started vomiting after being stung then you would give the EpiPen. Um, with a bee sting what you should do is remove the sting by any means possible try and find something that you can kind of you know uh, get it off like a leaf or a card or you know any credit card or anything like that. Um, with a tick we need to be careful okay so if you do find that you've got a tick on you don't panic and try to remove it immediately. The best way that you can remove a tick is by freezing it off. Now, things like wart spray, uh, anything that you can freeze um, uh, like warts off and, and things like that, that's what you should use. So take yourself to the nearest chemist or your GP um, and see if they can't, you know, they have any freezing spray because that's the way that you're gonna kill it without it actually injecting anything anything further into you, all right? So burning it off, I remember my dad used to burn off all the ticks from our animals um, with like a cigarette, or a, uh, but actually that isn't an effective way to remove a tick, we now know. Plus you could uh, risk burning yourself, so you don't want to do that, especially not in a child. Um, but you ideally need to be killing that 
tick with the freezer spray first. Um, even those little um, like kind of tweezer type things that get underneath the tick to twist it, even then they can end up squeezing the tick's body where they inject more of their um, saliva and venom into you. So freezing is the way to go. Um, and remember that that tick's not really going anywhere, wherever it is. I've had a tick, I know what it is. I lived in rural Scotland for a while and I've had them. Um, and they're not going anywhere fast. So you've got a little bit of time to go to a chemist and get what you need. Um, so first aid for these things, if you're not having a reaction, if your child is not having a reaction, then just using a cold compress um, would be absolutely fine. There's really not a lot else that you can do for these kind of things if you're not having a reaction. Um, but just remember to remove those stings um, as quickly as possible so that they don't continue to inject uh, venom into you. And with a tick, you have to have to freeze them first. OK, so I hope that's helpful today. Um, if you have any questions for us, remember we're over at the nestcpr.com. You can leave uh, a question on our contact page or you can go over to our Facebook page at the Nest Kids CPR and Allergy. OK, take care. See you soon.